we've added to our garden this year a unique work of art in the form of this bottle tree. Now bottle trees are very easy to grow. They don't require any water, any pruning. They're very hardy and they give you color pretty much year round. Well, the bottle tree is a great work of art for the garden. And you may remember early this year, we visited the garden of Felder Rushing down in Jackson, Mississippi. And Felder has 10 bottle trees in his garden. Some are made up of all blue bottles and they give a lot of color to his landscape. Well, the bottle tree is a great work of art for the garden, but it has its origins in Southern American folklore or folk tradition. Some of the early African Americans to our country would put these up in front of their homes in the belief that if there were any evil spirits that were trying to get into the home, they would be distracted by the bright, colorful bottles and they would become trapped inside the bottles. And if you've ever blown on a bottle and you hear that weird sound, well, this was believed to be the spirits trying to get out of the bottle and that the only way they could get out would be if the bottle was, was dropped and broken. Well, I think most people that have bottle trees in their gardens today have them because they just want a unique work of art or a great architectural element or sort of an element of whimsy in the garden, but they do give you quite a bit of color. This bottle tree was a gift to us by one of our ambassadors, Olin Thomas. We want to thank Olin for the great job he did of putting this together. And it also has special meaning because Olin solicited our group of volunteers, our ambassador group, for different bottles. And we all gave Olin the different bottles to contribute to our bottle tree. But you can see how he put it together with this eight-sided wooden post here and he put long nails at the bottom shorter nails up at the top and just started adding the bottles the larger ones at the bottom and then all the way up to the top with the really small colorful glass bottles to have our very own Oklahoma gardening bottle tree now you could do this at home with a tree that has upright facing branches or upright growing branches it'd be a great way to recycle a Christmas tree a lot of our Christmas trees are species that have rot resistant wood. So we could take the tree after Christmas is over, just kind of set it out in the yard for a while, let all the needles fall off of it, and then clean it up a bit, prune it a little bit, put the trunk in the ground, maybe cement the trunk into the ground or cement it into a tub or a bucket. That way you could have your bottle tree on the patio and then just start collecting colorful glass bottles to create a bottle tree. And you too could have an interesting architectural or art element in the garden in the form of a bottle tree. Mm -hmm.